Hi everyone, I'm here at the Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. They done something on Bible Gateway and messed up all the pages because um, I have mine on extra large, which I have no problem reading every day because that's where I read to you guys from. But now the extra large is like this small. And if you type, I thought maybe they got it backwards, you know, or something because they changed sex maybe. So I went to extra small and good luck. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. You can't see a word on that or a letter, period. So this is extra large and it's like this. So I gotta put the glasses on. Okay, and let's see if we can do this together here. So we're going to be reading John chapter 14 verses 51 through 31 today. Continuing on with Psalm 119 with verses 33 through 48. I told you we've done that song for a few days. And Proverbs chapter 15 verse 33. So in John yesterday, we left off with Jesus and his disciples being being like in the being away after the Last Supper. And Jesus keeps going up praying because he knows the hour has come. And that's when he'll be betrayed into the hands of man. With Judas and his mob will be coming. You might as well call them a mob because they are. And uh but that's where it stopped. So I thought today we'd get to Jesus being arrested, but it's only letting us read a little bit today in John chapter 14, verse 15. Uh -huh. Okay. But I don't see that Jesus is going to be arrested today either. Do you see that children? They didn't oh, let us read that part today either, so maybe tomorrow. But uh, today, Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. Because like I said, they're only letting us read a part of it. If you love me, Jesus said, keep my commands. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. He's talking about the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Truth, or the Holy Spirit. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in the Father, in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, because there was two of them, but Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? The other Jesus said. Jesus said, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken, and still, while still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. When Jesus himself, you know, is the one of should be afraid of all the stuff he's going to be going through, right? He's still human on this earth. He's going to experience the pain and agony of what he's about to go through. He's not immune to that here on this earth. He's going through that for us. But he's worried more about others than he is himself. He's not worried about himself. You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you love me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. 
I have told you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. I will not say much more to you, for the prince of this world is coming. He has no hold over me, but he comes so that the world may learn that I love the Father and do exactly what my Father has commanded me. And he's speaking of the devil which got into Judas, a scarlet, and they're coming after Jesus to arrest them. And then you know what happens after that. And Jesus, and then he, Jesus says, but he comes so that the world may learn that I love the Father and do exactly what my Father has commanded me. Come, let us go. And that's when they're going away from the Last Supper. And shortly thereafter, Jesus is mostly praying during this time when that happens. And they're supposed to stand guard with him to watch, you know, but they keep falling asleep. That's when Jesus says the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. And that's when Judas and that comes. So that should be tomorrow's reading. So well, I'm willing to be here for that. Alright, so now we're going to our psalm. That's where we're stopping John today. Psalm 119, verses 33 through 48. Got it? He says, Teach me, Lord, the way of your decrees, so that I may follow it to the end. Give me understanding, so that I may keep your law and obey it with all my heart. Direct me in the path of your commands, for there I find delight. Turn my heart toward your statutes and not toward selfish gain. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Preserve my life according to your word. Fulfill your promise to your servant so that you may be feared. Take away the disgrace I dread, for your laws are good. How I long for your precepts. In your righteousness, preserve my life. And wow says, May your unfailing love come to me, Lord, and your salvation according to your promise. Then I can answer anyone who taunts me, for I trust in your word. Never take your word of truth from my mouth, for I have put my hope in your laws. I will always obey your law forever and ever. Let's read those parts again. May your unfailing love come to me, Lord, for salvation according to your promise. Then I can answer anyone who taunts me, for I trust in your word. Trust in the Lord's word, not the word of the world. Never take your word of truth from my mouth, for I have put my hope in your walls. I will always obey your law forever and ever. I will walk about in freedom, for I have sought out your precepts. I will speak of your statutes before kings and will not be put to shame, for I delight in your commands because I love them. I reach out for your commands, which I love, that I may meditate on your decrees. And that is where we're stopping with Psalm 119. All right, and now we are ending today's Bible reading with one proverb, which is Proverbs 15, verse 33. Wisdom's instruction is to fear the Lord, and humility comes before honor. Amen. All right, guys, let, that was our end of our Bible reading today. I hope it touched your hearts. Let's see here. If you guys got a prayer request, send it to me, and I'll put it on the list. I've been I'm really busy. Uh, here lately trying to get everything done and everything. I haven't had time to really go through the comments right now. Um, I apologize, Layla. I'll try to get that done today. 
but if you guys need a prayer request, put it in the comments for me of one of the videos and or send it to my email address, all lowercase, missy, M-I-S-S-Y, crabtree at yahoo.com. I try to check it too. I haven't checked it in a few days. I've just been, you know, between being, being so tired and sleeping all the time and doing stuff to get, to get it done and everything, different things. Just haven't had much time to get everything, you know, done at once. So again, please keep Jeremy Hughes in your prayers. Um, he's down to 65 on the oxygen. And today I heard that um, they were doing, he's still on the ventilator. That's down to 65. There were, they took a they took a scope down into his lungs and um, are looking for the bacteria that's in there so they can decide what antibiotic to give him. They have him on the strongest antibiotic, but they don't know what type of antibiotic to give him that will work the best. Because as you know, different things, the antibiotics will work different ways for different things. So that's what they're doing today. And that's the last I heard um, so far from Jeremy. That's the update on him. Please pray for my mom, Rhonda Karshner. Her and Jimmy just got done eating. Um, she's been really tired and wore out. You know, she's got to take that pill after she had that radiation. She's got to take that hormone pill for five years. But her and Jimmy were out there mowing last night. She's been really wore out. Please keep Sherman your prayers. He's been having a lot of pain in his back. Please keep um, Jimmy and Abby Myers in your prayers. Like I said, Abby has COVID now, the Omicron. Please keep um, Cindy Welch in your prayers. Jim Welch, Annette Rager, Dean Deddy, Layla and her son Emil, Bartett Boyer, Randy and Jody Post, Lori, Elizabeth Jeffries, the VA and Chilla Coffee, Thora Harper, the Bird family, and the family of Edith Urban, who just lost Edith not too long ago. She used to live here and she has put the nursing home. She didn't live no time when she was in there. Like I said, she was Sherman's little buddy. She was always threatened to hit Sherman with her walker and stuff. Chasing down. They were flying together. Alright guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing. We'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible. Bye guys. God bless.